a little experiment. I'll try removing the books that are usually in the background of my videos and see if that helps my camera autofocus a little bit better. Anyway, this video today is brought to us by Josh, aka Yes Yes No No Twelve. Uh, he donated a slew of things to me, ranging from Nintendo playing cards, gaming encyclopedias, and Amiga book. I'm not sure. I've never heard of that. Uh, a cassette tape called Power Play, which is like about some two dudes giving video game tips or something uh, for the three major consoles of the time. Danny Curley, I never heard. Of, he, he's apparently the Joystick Warrior. I have yet to watch this video, but I'm not gonna put it on my YouTube channel for copyright reasons. Uh, but I bet it's probably got really corny act, uh, acting and people saying phrases like groovy and psychedelic and stuff like that. Or maybe it's too late for that, I don't know. It was like early 90s. He also gave me this Donkey Kong RC car. <laughs> Uh, the batteries are almost dead in it, but it's uh, it's the kind of RC car where you've got either forward or reverse and right. So is that. Uh, but the main star of this video is going to be this right here. This Pac-Man color handheld game. Xeon Tech. I've never heard of them before, before this video. Apparently this costs 12 pounds or whatever that is, euros. I don't know, I'm probably going to get a hate, bunch of hate comments for that. What do you mean? That's this currency, you tweeter man retard. So there's the back of the box there. Beat monsters down. It's incredible. Action-packed, full-color screen. Final ending stage is in. Try to find it. It's in? Was it like, like it's in like it's hip? I don't know. Legendary action game, arcade game, excuse me, now returns in the shape of a mini-color LCD game. Um... Handheld color version Pac-Man, soft touch, rubberized case, batteries included. Alright, let's go ahead and open it up here. It seems official. I mean, I believe I saw the word Namco in the instructions. Did I? I don't remember. There's no mention of Namco in the box, that's for sure. It's kind of weird. Alright, let me see here. Pac-Man, uh, object of the game, control yellow Pac-Man on the screen and eat all of bait put in labyrinth. <laughs> Note, the game automatic turns off after about two minutes. If you don, not press any keys. Attack point. It's got very, very bad English in the instructions. Uh, I don't see any mention of Namco in the instructions. Uh, oh, here we go. Pac-Man is the trademark of Namco Limited, manufactured and sold by Hero under the license from... Okay, so it is legal. The people who wrote the instructions just can't type for their life. Well, they could type, just not English. Oh, well. Let's get to the game. Uh, sure does attract a lot of dust, that's for sure. Because of that rubber case. Uh, it does take some batteries. I don't even, even open it, so I don't know what kind of batteries they are. But you, you see how much I prepare for these videos? Anyway, the way it works is light shines through here. And that'll give you your graphics on this mirror here from the screen, which is actually here. Did you get all that? So I'll go ahead and turn it on. There is some light getting through here. See, if you put your hand over it, see, it requires light to work. But it is color. Uh, it does give you that feeling of looking in an arcade cabinet, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and start. Dirty. Pretty slow pace. Uh, you've got a pretty small maze. That's your map right there. It shows that I'm in the bottom left of the maze right now. Now I'm in the top left. Ooh, power pellets are annoying. Right, I just saw the fruit light light up. Where's the fruit? Where's the fruit? Yeah, it's pretty slow. It's a weird style of maze. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It just doesn't feel like a official Pac-Man maze. There's a ghost. Get hit. Eh, sounded pretty close to the original. You can turn the sound off, luckily, if it bugs you that much. It'll be totally quiet. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn that off for now, because when I got this in the mail, it reminded me of something that I've owned for about ten years now. I got this when I was little. It's very similar to this. It's the same idea. 
It's another version of a Pac-Man handheld game. Uh, licensed by Nintendo. Manufactured... Huh. Manufactured by... It's manufactured by the same company who made this. Huh. I've never noticed that. Made in China. This one's copyright 1999. Pac-Man's a trademark in Namco, blah, blah, blah. But this one's pretty cool. I mean, it's more of a portable form factor than this. I mean, this screen doesn't go down. Whereas this one... It goes up like that, but it's the same idea. Light comes through here, the screen's actually there, you look in the mirror there. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't work anymore. You can put uh, button batteries in it, but it'll work. You can hear sounds, but some of the segments of screen are unfortunately missing. There's more to this screen, though, compared to this one right here. As you can vaguely see, there's more frames of Pac-Man and ghosts that can be on the screen at one time. You can see it's like, uh, what are they? there's like seven frames in a row going horizontal and five going vertical. Whereas this one here, it's much more limited. It makes it the maze feel a lot smaller. And did it save my score? I think it saved my score. <laughs> Oh, but I wanted to share this with you guys, but I wish I could get it to work on video. I used to play this thing a lot. I do, I do miss it. I wish... I want to find another one of these. So that's the Pac-Man handheld game. Uh, thanks a lot, Josh, for donating this to me. And uh, don't forget, guys, subscribe for future videos. And as always, thanks for being fans, and thanks for watching.